No sir, I am not interested in what you are selling. Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we managed to solve the six puzzles of the sunken ship and gained access to the treasure vault, where a giant squid just happens to wait for us. Hey, we got a boss battle up ahead. I changed up my party between episodes. I put Gino and Toadstool in the party instead of Bowser and Malo. Yeah, we're actually going to use Princess Toadstool today. She's mostly going to be there for uh, status recovery and healing. Because this boss can inflict the fear status on our party members in such a way that it bypasses the effects of the fearless pen. And Gino will be there for the usual purposes and he's the highest level character in the party right now. We have ourselves a boss battle. Right now we are fighting the squid's tentacles. Squidward tentacles? Nah, not quite, not quite. Alright, let's use Geno Boost on Mario for starters. Boost his attack and defense. Princess Toadstool, uh, you can just defend for now. There we go. And Mario, let's open this up with a Super Flame. Hit Y repeatedly. Don't worry too much about using up your FP for this battle. Ooh, wow, that was nice. Alright, Geno Boost on Toadstool. Mostly, more so to increase her defense than anything. Alright, go ahead and attack, princess. Give her a good slap. Nice. Actually impressed. Ah, nuts. There she goes. That's the attack that can cause the uh, fear status. Anyway, I'm going to do one more uh, super flame on this one. Alright. Rapidly press that Y button. Nice. I'm not entirely sure how much... Uh, I want to do a Geno boost, actually. Not entirely sure how much HP the individual tentacles have. Probably like between 200 and 250, I want to say. Give it a good slap. Oh yeah, she's she's afraid. I was supposed to do something about that, but oh well. All right, we defeated the first three tentacles, and now we are going to advance further onto the field and fight three more. All right, Geno. Give him a taste of. Your handgun. Oh, wait. Okay, Toadstool, use therapy on yourself. Time that button. Get a little extra healing there. Yeah, if they just do the little slap attack, I, you know, I'm fine with that. This is gonna be the last time I'm, I'm gonna use Super Flame before the uh, we get to the other end of the field. I want to conserve some FP for the final stage of the boss. Alrighty. Yeah, we'll just block that. Alright, mash that tentacle, Mario. Okay, there we go. Advancing over the last of these holes, and... We have a weird pipe there, and... Oh, crap! Yeah, we have King Calamari. Alright, for starters, I'm just going to take out the tentacles just so he can attack me less. Pretty sure if you defeat King Calamari, the tentacles go away on their own. Alright, Mario, mash that tentacle. And he's got an ink blast. Alright, good block. That could do a lot of damage if you're not careful. Yeah, Mario's next turn, I think I'm going to have him just... Go ahead and do Super Flame on King Calamari himself. Okay, I guess they have more than 250 HP. Must be closer to 300. Anyway, we're gonna do Super Flame on King Calamari. Gonna hit Y repeatedly. Nice. Here comes another Ink Blast. Whew. Yeah, that could have been painful. Alright, we've taken out all of his arms. I guess I probably could have had the princess do some healing, but oh well. One more super flame. This should finish the battle. Nope, not quite. Ah, he's got drain beam. I think I'm going to be healing on Toadstool's next turn. Or, well, eh, maybe not. For some reason I was expecting that to do a lot more, but I guess maybe it was because I had Malo and Bowser in the party before. But anyway, we defeated King Calamari! Victory! 
nice increase to our HP and I mean the X XP and whatnot. Anyway, I'm gonna swap my party back around to how it was before the boss battle. I'll be right back. All right, now let's continue on through the sunken ship. Avoid the dry bones. Okay, here we have these uh, bullet bills shooting around. I don't think you can actually get into battles with these things, but if you hit them from below, the cannons will stop firing, and it makes it easier to navigate this upcoming area. I'm not particularly good at... I'm a little out of practice at hitting these things. I'm doing a lot better than I did in my practice run. Anyway, just getting this last one here should be enough. It'll make it a lot easier to get through that area. There's now only two of these cannons are going to be shooting. And we're in the next area. Just dodge the rats. There's a lot of rats all over this place. We got some treasure chests up here. Yeah, that's come on, Mario. There we go. Nice, a hundred coins right there. And another hundred right here. All right, two hundred coins just from beating on those two blocks. Anyway, you want to go through here because we have ourselves a hidden chest. Come on. No, no, it's... Come on, I never have trouble with that. Okay, I'm gonna... All right, let's try that again. Mario. Other Mario. There we go. What? There we go. Okay, we got Caro Caro Cola. All right, what am I gonna get rid of this time? I guess I'll get rid of one of the pick-me-ups since I haven't really been using them much. Now we can continue on. Okay, I wanna get... Uh, anyway, I just I wanted to get past that dry bone so I can get this frog coin. Hey, okay, wait. Dry bones are a good way of racking up experience, so I'll definitely give it that. Anyway, let's do some recovering, and why not? We'll hit the save block. Since I just happen to be up here. And in this chest, okay, I'm gonna wanna. Well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the party I have now for this battle against uh against Hayden. All right, for starters, I'm gonna just have Bowser attack. With the hurly gloves. Yeah, he counterattacks physical attacks with that attack there. But I don't really have any other means of hitting him. He's pretty resistant to Malo's thunder attacks, particularly Shocker. Okay, let's do super jump with Mario. Actually, it just occurred to me it would have been great to have Geno in the party for a Geno boost for this guy. It would have saved me a lot of trouble. Because now there are monsters, little tiny goombites, goombets. Anyway, I'm going to try to terrorize them. Make them flee for their lives, Bowser. Rotate that control pad. I really don't know if it's doing anything when I do that or not. I honestly don't even know if they've been uh, inflicted with the fear status or not, despite the uh, exclamation points. But these things hit pretty hard. If you're not careful, you can... They can do a number on you. Alright, Mario, one more super jump on Hayden. Wonder if that's meant to be a reference to Final Fantasy VI. Because yeah, there's a monster in that game with the same name. Anyway, Hayden's taken care of. Alright, Bowser. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have Mallow do a Thunderbolt since that uses less FP. And Bowser's attack power increased. Unfortunately, we probably won't be using that. Alrighty, that went a lot better than my practice run did, that's for sure. But alright, we got a safety badge. I am going to equip that on... Uh, let's see, I'm going to give that to Mallow for now, I guess. It's about the same about defense power. I believe it does more than just prevent mutant poison attacks. I think it might actually have some resistances to certain elements or whatnot. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, we have some uh, underwater areas of the sunken ship. And we have a new enemy, the Mr. Kipper. I feel like that's a reference to something. Not entirely sure what that would be, though. 
But these guys are susceptible to the Thunderbolt spell. So Mallow should be able to wipe them all out. Oh yeah. See, Bowser was just about strong enough to take him out in one hit. They don't give you much in the way of experience though. Anyway, you go into this whirlwind, or whirlwind, uh, whirlpool, and we can collect some more frog coins. And Princess Toadstool is leveled up. Okay, I'm gonna head back for the door now. Yeah, I gave, I gave her the physical attribute boost that time because it was a lot better. Anyway, we got some more enemies. And we have a new enemy, the uh, Krusty. Krusty Krab? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I'll take a couple Krabby Patties. They have a lot of defense. Fairly large amount of HP, but I'm gonna take out the Mr. Kippers with the Thunderbolt. And you do not want to use Mario's jump attack. I guess I didn't have as much HP as I thought. I was thinking of a different enemy around here. They, yeah, you do not, you know, when they have uh, spike shells like that, you don't want to use Mario's jump attack without the jump shoes equipped. Alright, just a repeat of that previous battle. So let's slip past the uh, Zeo stars. And in this room, we have ourselves, you, if you notice this uh, stack of barrels, it looks like there's something behind it. Come back here and there's a doorway. With a safety ring, one of the, one of my favorite accessories in the game. It gives you a... Uh, resistance to uh, certain uh, elements and uh, protection. It protects you against mortal blows, like instant death I attacks. I think it protects you from uh, lightning ele elemental attacks and like the drain spells, if I'm not mistaken. So it's it's very nice. It's one of my favorite uh, accessories in the game. Anyway, we want to jump on these. Uh, you know, Mario doesn't swim in these games, unfortunately, until you get to the surface. Anyway, we're going to come back all the way over here and get ourselves a frog coin as soon as I get Mario out of the water there. And I don't really want to fight the blooper nanny there. There's another enemy that I could have fought in the water. I forget what it was called, but it's basically like a huge jellyfish and it has like 600 HP, something like that. And I think it was like, it was completely resistant to uh, lightning elemental attacks. Yeah, it was a real pain to fight. Fortunately, I didn't run into it, but... Well, fortunately and unfortunately, since I didn't get to showcase it. Anyway, oh, hey. Arr, what's going on here? Who are you? What? You're looking for a star? I'll let you see stars. Arr, arr. Anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls into the sea becomes Johnny's property. Got that, matey? Yeah, Johnny, Jonathan Jones, he's the uh, leader of the pirates here. He's the guy that has the star piece. Oh, one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it. And we have ourselves a battle against banana... Uh, banana... Bandana Reds. Banana Reds, yeah, sure, that's great. All right, Bowser. Put some fear into their souls. Alright, that'll help. And these guys have an attack called Skewer that's really difficult to block. But I guess it's it is possible. Alright, Mallow. Blast him with Thunderbolt. Those guys are out of the picture. And Mario has leveled up and reached level 12. He didn't learn any new abilities yet. And we are going to boost his physical attributes. And Mallow has reached level 12. Alright. We're on a leveling up bonanza. And again, physical attributes are the way to go here. Arr, you're stronger than you look. Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates. Anyway, that chest has our HP, FP restoring mushroom. I'll get to get to that in just a minute. All right, where's the intruder? I don't see him. <laughs> Did he get away? There he is. Get him, boys. Here, this is on us. <laughs> what the? How dare you dodge the barrel? Exactly. Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? I took the stairs. 
Well, your luck has run out. We don't take kindly to strangers here. And you know what? Maybe I'll... I may as well just leave this fight in, too. All right, let's ro rotate that control pad, Bowser. Strike some fear into their hearts. Just weather these uh, spear for us. These bandana reds. They're not so tough. Ah, I didn't time that right. All right, there we go. All right, Milo, finish them off with a thunderbolt. Thunder ho! Nice. That last point was a little late, though. All right, and Bowser has reached level 12 and learned poison gas. It functions pretty much the same way as the terrorize ability, only it inflicts the poison status ailment. So it, it has pretty good use to it. And we're going to boost his physical attributes. And Gino has reached level 13, and he's a little bit ahead of everybody since he had the experience booster on earlier. And uh, I guess HP is what they expect you to go with. I would, I'll would boost his special attributes this time. You're pretty tough, mate. All right, I'll let you through to Johnny's place. Alrighty, guys. So uh, next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG, we will go and do battle with Jonathan Jones and get ourselves the fifth star piece. This has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.